Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, Easy Cheers, to your Easy Cheers Game Podcast for the week of, <laughs> my god, Alex, June <clears throat> 2nd, halfway through the year, I'm already host, Elijah, sitting across from me digitally, of course, as always, Alex. Hello, Alex. my fellow, huh? I'm going to cut you off immediately. Okay. As soon as you start. Immediately. Already. Wow. So, I feel, I feel upset. So we had a week, week for news. Yeah. Week, week. Yeah. This is a week, week, week. Mm-hmm. And of course the state of play happened today as of recording mm-hmm. yesterday as of going live mm-hmm. and this saved the week. If I'm being honest, not too much to talk about, but we're going to have a jam packed full breakdown of the state of play. Plus some other things that happened throughout the week that we'll quickly cover, but this is going to be majority of a state of play episode mm-hmm. because we had a rather weak week throughout. Of course, as always, hit me up if you saw something I may have missed for the week. But this will be a pretty much state of play focused episode, and we might dig into some um, digging, digging Xbox things at the end of the show on what we might expect out of the showcase. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for joining us this week. I'm excited to get into this uh, only yep. because I got a very interesting text from you, Alex. Um, mm. And the text simply read, the state of play was fine. And I yep. can't wait to bring into that. Thank you so much for joining us this week. We come to you every single Friday. YouTube po- or podcast service of your choice. You can, of course, five star review us on that podcast service of your choice. Or you can simply like, comment, subscribe, share on this very YouTube that you might be listening and or watching on right now. And if you'd like to support us financially, you know the place. Patreon.com slash Achievers. Helps us out tremendously. Now, Alex, mm. usually I ask you a question. Yes. Every single week I ask you once again the question, what have you been playing? But instead mm-hmm. of doing that, we're going to go ahead and say to play immediately. And then we're yep. going to do the regular kind of show uh, as soon as we finish the state of play. Because I, I do really want to kind of get into this. So Jump into this. Alex, mm. we were given on a silver platter a state of play. Mm. Going into this, I was in no way excited for this. Uh, mm-hmm. I very much had my expectations low, and I feel like the state of play knocked out of the part. Now, before we give a full kind of recap of the thing, okay. I just want to talk about our thoughts on it. What did you What did you think of the show? So I also came into the state of play with low expectations, and I mean, I wasn't disappointed. Okay. I mean, but I definitely wasn't overhyped either. Mm. Like, I mean, like, like yeah, I was it, like, it, it didn't tick by the end of it, I was like, cool. And that was it. All right. Yeah. So you would grade this as fine. You don't regret watching it or anything. No, I don't regret watching it. But like, I, I mean, if I literally, if I would have missed it, and and I would have just scrolled through IGN, Twitter, any type of social media I would use, and be like, "Oh, they showed this." I'll be like, "Oh, cool." Okay, I I'm a little more on the good side of this. I think okay. it's I think it's much better than usual. I think is objectively true. Usually, state of plays are pretty shallow. Right. I can say, yeah, it's definitely it was definitely better than the past ones. I mean, it might be the best one <laughs> other than maybe the Last of Us one. That's yeah. the only thing I feel like that is even close to the I mean, even remotely close. Mm-hmm. Um and I think it was really good actually. I I came in I I might this might have helped them. I came in with very low expectations. I was expecting a state of play with like maybe half of this and even that would have still been kind of good. But I, I, I thought it was more, you know, a bunch of third party stuff and, and it was going to be, you know, games that I've heard of before. And I just, um, is it bad that, um, I kind of got disappointed a little bit because of the timestamps that will popped up on when it comes up on YouTube. So for example, like whenever uh, you, you, you or something? well, whenever, no, whenever you go to, mm. you know, to find the right one, you're like, oh, okay, how long is this video? It said 43 minutes. I'm like, whoa, it's a long one. I was oh, like, all right. I see what you're saying. But 15 minutes of yeah, that was, the, was just was the, the countdown. And I'm yeah. like, all right, whatever. So, so it was like 30 minutes. I'm actually on the opposite side of that. So I didn't, I didn't have that experience where it was like, oh, I thought it was like this long. Mm. I, watching it, feel like it flew by. I feel like it 
mm. started. It didn't waste my time. There was maybe one game that I was like, okay, let's let's just say I skipped. I fast forward through three games. Whoa, just 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 skim through it because I was oh, like, eh. okay. I mean, hey, hey, hey. If you're not, if you don't want the game, I get it. I I watched the whole thing only because I. I don't know. I feel like I, sh- I have to or something, but like I, yeah. I, I sat through it all, and yeah. I think it was really good. I, I think it is very good. Now, is it good because I had so low expectations? Maybe I don't know, mm. but we'll have to see. I guess. Yeah, uh, it, Alex. It, mm. Let's 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 just get into the to the actual show. Okay. Let's recap it, and then we can give like a full review kind of at the end. Uh, so the show opens with Resident Evil Four. I kind of liked how it did it. Um, all it came up was three, two, four, two, three. Like, like mm-hmm. immediately was the first thing that you see, and you don't know mm. really what it is. It shows an R, and then I think it is immediately shows to an E, and then it just goes mm. bah, Resident Evil Four. That was, I think, it was a really good trailer. Uh, we all knew this was coming. If you listen to our show, or if you're just tangentially like listen to people, this was yeah. leaked a bunch of times, so we knew it was coming. But it was still cool. Um, I do want to read something. Now, I am grabbing a couple informations of what I've just gathered, but also I want to read from the actual PlayStation blog because there's something very interesting here that I want to bring up. So, I took out this excerpt, and I want to read this to the Achievers because I don't know if diehard fans will like this really at all. Uh, And this is kind of in the middle, so it's going to kind of start already starting. So, quote, This time, the game is being developed to achieve state-of-the-art quality for a Survivor Horror Super for 2020. While preserving the essence of the original game, we aim to make the game feel familiar to fans of the series while also providing a fresh feeling to it. This is being done by reimagining the storyline of the game while keeping the essence of its direction, modernizing the graphics, and updating the controls to a modern standard. Alex, they're basically telling you the game will be different. The ending, assumably, is different. Middle of the game is different. They hint at that in the trailer, where it ends mm-hmm. with Leon walking. He's like, this time, it could be different, or it has mm-hmm. to be different. I, I, yeah. I have to be honest here. I've never played Resident Evil 4, so I can't tell you what the ending is. I assume it's bad. So, Sounds like it's a bad ending, but... So I've played Resident Evil 4, like, like maybe a couple hours in, but I've never finished it. Mm. So like, when I saw this, I was like, oh... It's just Resident Evil 4 again. Cool. This is one of the games where I kind of was like, okay, it's it's cool. It's whatever. I'll probably play it. Probably not. It's like one of those where like I'm, I, I it, it'd be a hit or miss. But once they said sh- the show that you know it was, it was like more, it was like very different. I figured it was gonna be like a remake. You know, the, all the graphics are up to date. I knew it, it was gonna be RE2 remake in their RE yeah. engine, and it looks great. It's it gives it it it's like it slightly brought me up to where like okay i probably will play it oh i'm a thousand percent playing it but you're a little softer on the resident Evil games than i am yeah you which is because i did play the the heck out of seven and eight that's true but yeah but you haven't like and three i haven't really cared for it yeah i was just about to bring that up you you didn't you don't really like the two at all it shocked me i, I loved yeah. two. Uh, yeah i probably might maybe you have to go back to it but i think maybe i just like the more of the you gave it a good bit of time i don't think you will i just don't think you like i don't know i think i just like more of the first person horror vibe you know story more i like i don't know it's it's, they had different gameplays so Uh, i'll read the synopsis real quick from the playstation blog six years have passed since the biological disaster in raccoon city leon s kennedy one of the survivors of the incident has been recruited as an agent reporting directly to the president with the experience of multiple missions on his back, Leon is set to rescue the kidnapped daughter of the President of the United States. I remember this uh, snippet of the game. It's hilarious. The mm-hmm. daughter gets kidnapped. Um, he tracks her to a secluded European village where there is something terribly wrong with the villagers. And the curtain rises on this story of grueling survival horror and rescue. Now, I knew, I did hear that there was a. Um, I think there was a port or something that took out some scenes from Resident Evil 4 of Leon being a dick and the chick hitting on him or something. So maybe that'll mm-hmm. also happen here. I'm curious if people will be upset about that. I don't I don't know the context of the game, so I can't tell you if it's, you know, weird that they're taking it out or not. But I want to bring that yeah. up. But uh, I'm ex- I, I will play this guaranteed. I loved Resident Evil 2. I did not play mm-hmm. 3. I don't even think I own it. Uh, I think there's yeah. just too many games at the time, if I remember. I was like, mm-hmm. no, there's no way I'm playing this. But um, I can't wait. I think I just tried playing this too many times 
that mm-hmm. I just that's why I'm like kind of like mm, I don't know maybe this time it will be different because it's such a different gameplay right maybe, uh, but like I I've probably restarted this game like played the beginning of this game like five times and yeah. I'll get to the little village area and then that was it <laughs> I, no I I, de- I do I definitely get that I've had those games too where you're like yeah you, you just you've tried it too many times you're like it's just not gonna happen it's not yeah. gonna happen there's nothing wrong with that they yeah. also did say um there is PSVR two content announced in mm-hmm. development is what it said so at the very end yeah. of it so there is already a resident evil 4 <clears throat> oculus like i think it's yeah. a full game um i think so. or if it's like or if it's part of the game or it's but it's specially made for the oculus <clears throat> that is kind of hinting that you might not get that on the psvr2 which i think everyone kind of assumed you would um mm. maybe uh facebook slash meta has some sort of exclusivity that either they can't move it yet or they never will be able to move that from that <clears> game <throat> But you are at least getting different content. What that content is, who knows? <clears throat> Maybe they'll make the whole game playable in it, like they did with um, Village that they just announced right after that. They announced that the PSVR 2 uh, Resident Evil Village is coming to PSVR 2. So that's cool. They only showed the opening mission, kind of opening area thing, but assumably the entire um, uh, game will be... Not assumably, it is coming to PSVR 2, mm-hmm. which is cool. Yeah. Very dangerous for the uh, sucking scene. I'm just going to say that. Very dangerous. Yeah, we'll uh, see. I think you played hmm. this. PSVR 2 was announced. Um, uh, sorry, a PSVR 2 game was announced. Walking Dead Saints and Sinners Chapter 2 Retribution. And it's pegged for later this year. Did you play the first one? No, I did not. I did mm-hmm. download. I have it downloaded. I've yet to be able to go to it. I was planning on it, but never went to it. It seemed okay. Like what I was seeing from the little picture, I was like, "Oh, this looks kind of cool." Like, I assume it got it, it's did okay for getting a, a a a second one. So I mean, it did good enough, clearly, right? Right. Um. Uh, yeah, that's all I have to say about that. Uh, yeah, and it did say just it just said twenty twenty two, I believe. Like it didn't say anything else. Um. And then of course, No Man's Sky was shown very quickly, also for PSVR two. Um. No, I don't think anyone should really talk. I think it has a. I think it's fully. Is it fully playable in PSVR? That's what it looks already, like already. I believe. No, no, no. Uh, already, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It already has. <sighs> Let me a, get back to you on that. Pretty sure it already has a VR mode. Double check me on that, but I'm pretty, pretty sure it does. So this is just confirming that you'll also be able to do that in PSVR two if you own the game, uh, assumably at no additional cost because it was not at an additional cost with the other one. Playing No Man's Sky VR mode is incredibly simple. If you're on PS4, just plug in, turn the VR. Yeah, so yep. you can. Yeah, yeah, you can already do this. This is confirmation. You'll still be able to do this. Yeah. Yeah, they they introduced it in No Man's Sky Beyond. Yes, yep, I remember that. Yep. And then we, of course, get what we all were excited for. Horizon Call of the Mountain was shown. A little snippet of the game, kind of showing you what you expect. Uh, <clears throat> Alex, hmm. I can't... This is probably the one game I'm like, all right, like, this is most likely day and date with the PSVR 2. Mm. This is going to make me want to buy one if it really is as good as it looks and i think i think it will be i think it's going to be one of those games where you'll play for like the probably three four hours of how long it is and it's going to be cool yeah. and you'll walk away and be like yeah that was a cool experience yeah so this is one of the games where i was kind of like it's like i didn't know if i was going to enjoy it but like i i like at first i was like eh, horizon vr i mean it sounds cool but like i need to see something and then we saw it and i'm like i might i'm the more i saw it i actually got a little bit more excited but i just hope that it's uh I guess, I don't know, I guess work well. Oh, of course. I mean, uh, uh, like a lot of your games are kind of like hit no, or miss. Yeah, because, yeah definitely. Especially with the ones where you can see the hands just cut off and all you see is the hands. So you, so that like it, bothers, it scares me because I'd be like, oh, or does that mean the hands are going to freak themselves out mm-hmm. or they, it's actually going to work well? So that was my only issue with that one. Yeah, I'm pretty excited for this one. Again, we're still waiting on details on the PS4 2, so we have no idea. Yeah. I assume this this might even be a plug in game with it. Like you might get this with the with the system. Who knows? Mm, but, like a bundle. Um, yeah, like this might be a game you just get with the game. Who know? I, I don't know, but you maybe. Mm. Um, and uh, I'll read a quick. Yeah, let's read a quick snippet. Or the World Horizon is spectacular up close and call of the mountain. You'll be seeing <laughs> it through the eyes of Reyes, a former Shadow Carja warrior who hopes to redeem himself by investigating a grave new threat to the Sundom. He is a master at climbing and archery, two skills crucial to survival as you step into his shoes, scaling perilous mountains, and taking down mighty machines like the Thunderjaw. Cool. This, I, I mean, I hope it's good, because like you said, it's 
the VR games are kind of like, uh, you know, I hope I don't get sick while playing it. You know, I hope there's mm-hmm. like something that kind of helps me like play it slowly or mm-hmm. just yeah, because that's the one sickness. game. I had one game that kind of it kind of caught me like, whoa, there's a little too much. Was Skyrim? Yeah, Skyrim. Skyrim, was... Skyrim did that because you can move. And, well, you can either move around and look around. Or you can sit still and just move the analog stick and move it. But like I was like, well, no, nah, I have to be full immersed. So I started doing this like a lot. And, then, and you a lot. <laughs> but I was like, I, I was like, whoa, I need to sit down for a second. Like yeah. that's the only game that nauseous. me like that. You'll get nauseous fast. Yeah. Um, right after that, they announced a new update for Horizon Two. Things like transmog, resetting your skills, new game plus, new weapons and trophies, all available right now. So as of recording and as of listening. You can go and play the new update right now with trophies and a new difficulty. Uh, this was not surprising if you've been paying close attention. Spider-Man piece, uh, is coming to PC August 12th. Mm. Very cool for our PC fans out there. Um, I can't wait for the hilarious mods. That is mm-hmm. something I'm always excited for for PC. My, yeah. my latest uh, favorite one, Alex, uh, mm-hmm. someone modded in Master Chief in the beginning of God of War. And that's mm-hmm. all I'll say. That. <laughs> it is yep. amazing. <laughs> Yep. It is so cool. I, uh, this one was the one that was kind of, I was like, eh, it's, I, it, it's cool for PC, but I was like, to me, it wasn't really needed to be shown. It was like, you could have just announced that. It's, you're saying this could have been an email, is what you're saying. This could have been an email. <laughs> no. I, 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 like, I mean, so, I, like, we, we knew the, that it was, it, like, it was going to be the PC. Like, I feel like it was just, I, I know it was quick, but like, I feel like it, it wasn't needed. This kind of, ble- I think this bleeds into the like the Sony business side of being like we have yeah. to be like we have to announce this because we want yeah. the good sales. Because like, yeah, I understood, but I was co- like, nah. yeah, it costs them so little money <clears throat> to do this. So like when they get good sales, they just make so much money. If you don't believe me, go look at their financial earnings on how much they made on PC sales, and then mm-hmm. try to figure out like it does not take a lot to port to port these games. So it's yeah. they make a lot of money. That's why. Uh, next up, Stray, July nineteenth. Showed off some gameplay. It's gonna be free mm-hmm. for PlayStation Plus as well. Uh, Alex, this this was this might have been my favorite part of the of the thing. I, yeah, I, this game, I but I'm excited for it to be a cat. Yeah, I, I can't wait to play this. This looks really cool. Um, mm-hmm. It looks weird. Uh, there's these yeah. weird eyeballs around. I don't know what the hell that's about, but yeah, I don't know either. But it's like a cyber world. Like I don't see any humans anywhere. Um, I did. Um, uh, I did want to preface it will be available with only PlayStation Plus Extra and Premium members. So you have to be either of those to be able to get this game. You cannot be base PS Plus. Mm. Just so you know. You said it, it, yeah, Extra and Premium. Extra and Premium. Yeah. So basically, not the yeah. regular Plus. Um. Let's see here. They don't really have a synopsis, so I'm not going to read one. Um, it looks really cool. <laughs> Look, you're a little cat walking around these weird robot computer people. <clears throat> I, I can't wait. It looks very sty- stylized, which is which I like. Look, it looks very um to their art, I'm sure, Bible that they have, and I can't wait. Let's see. What else do I have here? Uh, oh, Striking Distance Studios. When as soon as I saw this, I went, "Oh my God!" They're showing Callisto Protocol. Like I, oh, I, yeah. I, I knew that studio. So as soon as I saw it, I went, "Oh my God." <laughs> Even before I saw the logo, I saw I, I saw the planet and I saw the way it was and I was like Callisto, awesome. Like, I was like I, I it gave I, me that Dead space vibe and I was like oh all right that that was probably yeah that was another yeah, if, game that I was like if you doubted it wasn't Dead Space yeah I don't know what to tell you this is now just the most Dead Space game ever mm-hmm. I can't wait to play this I can't wait to play this let's I'm gonna quickly read this and then we're gonna gush about the game set on Jupiter's dead moon Callisto in 2320 the Callisto protocol is the story of Jacob Lee an inmate at Black Iron Prison who must fight for his life when a mysterious outbreak throws the moon into chaos prison guards and inmates are mutating into monstrous creatures called biophage and Jacob must battle to survive the horrors of Black Iron and uncover the dark secrets of the United Jupiter Company Alex, I can't wait for this. This looks really cool. Um, the part where the big machine grabs that guy and shoves him to the ground and shoots him with a shotgun hand thing. I was like, That's all that. this is going to yeah. be rough. And then at the end, they show you how, like, because you remember in Dead Space 1, how they, like, grossly showed you how you died. You got that little mm-hmm. quick snippet at the end of all those different ways you'll die and how these things will eat your face. Um, yeah. I'm really excited because this is very, this is like, this game is pretty much dead space 
but like you have to pay attention to like your surroundings like with that and like it kind of reminds me of uh isol- alien isolation because it says hey. they take full of fan- they take full advantage of ps5's 3d audio mm. capabilities and leverage acoustic ray tracing diffraction and poor portaling of the full immerse so that pretty much means when you wear that headset you're gonna feel like you're in that game and that's where, like, I'm excited because, like, what if I'm, like, where you're, like, walking and you hear, like, some clicking or some stepping over here? You're, like, what the hell is that? God, so these I, things look I'm horrific. Just, I'm really one. hoping they add a VR thing to this. Oh, no, this I don't want that. I, I, no, I, I, I hope no, so. No, no, no. Yeah. No, I don't like that at all. Experience or something. So what What I'm most excited about this, and they kind of read it here, uh, quote, uh, we also obsess over building and releasing tension. You can't have mm-hmm. jump scares around every corner. Sometimes we space yeah. scares out to give players time to catch their breath. Sometimes we hit them with two or three scares in a row. We want mm-hmm. to hard to race with every tick of the ps5's awesome haptics okay uh, all right i don't know if you needed that end part but cool you got a marketing deal i'm sure but uh from the satisfying swing of jacob's stun baton to heavy footsteps of massive enemies uh the ps5 helps us make players feel every movement of the pulse pounding tension dude mm. i can't wait for this this looks so cool dude yeah the, the creature i don't know what this thing is called but it, it looks like someone's head is in half and they have like two heads mm-hmm. and it's like got a big mouth and i can't wait. this the what dead space one nails is tension like mm-hmm. when you when you open a door and you go into a new area and you just don't know what's gonna happen, that's my favorite part of those games. So what, mm-hmm. if this nails that, dude, whoo, I cannot wait. Comes out December second. Yeah. Well, you, you know, do you think it'll call, it'll hit I'll, that time? You know what, Alex? I'll believe it when it's in the system. Give, I'll give say me, that. Give, this is my birthday gift, man. It has to. Dude, I'll say I'll say that. I'll believe it when it's in my PS Five. Mm. And by in it, I mean I've downloaded it digitally. Yep. And it's crazy because I just, uh, I'm wondering, I don't remember, is this only on PlayStation or yes. is it on Xbox as well? Only on PlayStation 4 okay. and 5. Uh, if you want, double check that just to make sure I'm not see. incorrect. I'm going off of um, the PlayStation blog, but it should be. Um, while Alex is double checking me on that, Private Division showed off uh, a... It's, it's on Xbox. It is on Xbox. Mm-hmm. All right, I'm lying. I'm just going to play it on Xbox. <laughs> PS5, Xbox Series X, PS4, Xbox One, PC. How did I forget that? I thought it was only PlayStation. Mm-hmm. My bad. Sorry, but everyone. Um, mm-hmm. Next game. Roller Dome. Or I guess Roller Drome? Roller, dr- roller, dr- roller It's dr- Roller Drome. Drome. Okay. Whatever. Yeah. Roller Dome would have been better. But mm-hmm. it looks crazy. This looks wild. Now, it does look like one of those games where... Um, not to downplay it, but it definitely looks like... <laughs> You're rolling around and killing stuff, and that looks like kind of it. Like maybe there's more to it, and that would mm. be cool. But it, it definitely looked like, oh, okay, I'll probably like if I did play this, I'd probably play it. For it like reminds me of like hours. three games run. Like it reminds me of like, uh, what was it? It was like Tony Hawk Pro Skater mixed with like Jet Set Radio and like like a mm, shooter. Yeah, definitely. It was just, yeah, and it has like the art style of Sable. Yeah, yeah. As soon as I saw it, I was like, "Is this Sable?" I'm like, "No way, That's right?" Like, they can't be Sable. So, what is this? Um, I will quickly say it, it's very soon, August sixteenth. So, Jesus, two months away, and you'll yeah. be able to play this game. So, it, it might have the benefit of releasing around nothing. Uh, I yeah. know Saints Row is around that time, but I mean, it's basically uh, around nothing else. Mm-hmm. So, I am cautiously optimistic. Let's say that about this game. Um, will I play it? Who knows? It's it. Depends on depends on the time, but it does look cool, um, mm-hmm. and it looks unique, which I always pride um, games on. Is if you look unique, I'm I'm down for it. And it doesn't yep. just look like Fortnite, which is what everyone would assume. Everyone would assume it would just look like Fortnite, right? And it, and it doesn't. And I'm happy for that. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Right. Next up, we have. Uh, <laughs> okay, so <laughs> I wrote down an anime bang game. Uh, it looks like I put gang bang. I didn't. I put anime bang game. So it looks like a uh, and they actually say it right after the the game ends. You're talking about, oh, you're talking about dating- Eternites. Yes, Eternites. Yeah. Okay. The okay. Uh, dating sim slash action fighter is what they say at yeah. the very end of that. Uh, I'll be honest, Alex. I'm making fun of it. This is my shit. <laughs> let's like let's be honest, dude. This is my shit. So I will this be is, playing. This is probably the the game that I was one of the most hyped for. I, I think I have to agree with you. I think this is probably my game of the show, aside from Close to Protocol, maybe. Yeah. But um, that is that game looks really fun. Uh, it looks fun. It what it what it needs to nail is the 
uh horniness no i'm just kidding uh it needs to nail the uh action story? the actual action the no, the action and dialogue if you know the action okay. and dialogue the story i can kind of like eh, you know because i want to hang out with the characters okay. i don't care about the story but if yeah. you can nail everything then it's like a you know it, it beats the seven eight and goes into nine ten territory yeah that's, that's a good point because it was like because yeah i guess that's how it was when we hit when we played tales you know the story was like fucking everywhere but like being with those characters that was awesome tales jesus christ such a good game oh my god i guess the ending halfway through the game i jokingly told alex like is this how it ends and he was like yeah not wrong. <laughs> i'm like of course <laughs> how, who knew who, uh i need to read this uh so the, so it's on the playstation blog it says so what is eternites eternites is a dating action game where you try to make the most out of life during the apocalypse so you scavenge for supplies explore dungeons and go on dates and and there's a little trailer, of course, from the thing that you can watch. But um, I'll be honest, it looks cool, but it does look simple from the trailer. Like it looks very simple. It reminds me of um, um, my God, it just came out. It was the game that you could combo with people. Oh, this is gonna kill me, man! It's anime game. It was on Game Pass, I think. I don't know, but like looking at this gameplay, it doesn't look that simple to me. It looks, I mean, really? I mean, it looks, I mean, yeah, like he's fight, he's doing combos, and I don't know where he. It, there's a slow mo thing where you can hit strike, and then you can do either X, you can do each letter or whatever so, depending on the type of element. So I'm definitely down with you. Um, Scarlet Nexus is the game I'm thinking of. So I'm oh. definitely down with you. So okay. my problem with something like Scarlet Nexus and this. So this on the surface level, yeah, this looks awesome. If there's like 10 to 20 different variations of this. Yeah. The problem with Scarlet Nexus is after a while, you're doing you literally just, the exact same mm -hmm. moves that's over what, yeah. and over and over again. And it's the exact yeah. same thing. So that's it, true. I that's how, just, that's why I of it. I had to yeah. just stop playing the game because I can't keep doing this over and over mm -hmm. again. So I just I just had to stop. So if this does that again, unfortunately, unless the dialogue's really good or the story's really good, I'm gonna not care. Um, yeah, the trailer jacked me up because I was like, "What is this?" And I don't know where his the first thing his arm just gets sliced off. That's how it opens. It's just oh. blood in the screen, and his arms off. And he's like, "Ah!" <laughs> and the blade comes. I mean, like, what the fuck? Uh, and I love this. Uh, it's, 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 <laughs> Some of you might be curious about what the dating part of a, quote, dating action game, unquote, is. Dating is, well, dating. When you're not exploring dungeons, you can choose to spend time growing closer to a cast of five quirky and lovable characters. As you explore their stories and grow closer to them, you can also unlock unique skills and spells you can use in battle. That sounds very Fire Emblem-y. Um, I saw that one of the... I, I didn't get their names. I apologize. I kind of feel bad now. Um, it was... I think it was like a design director with for the game. Oof, this is going to kill me. I wish I saved it. Um, so someone that worked on this game said that they played Persona 5 when it came out and it inspired them to make this. And I was like, but yes, balance, that's what that's like. What, that's what I want to hear. That is what I want to hear. Like, keep making these yeah. Persona 5 games. So yep. very that excited me tremendously. I was like, oh, OK, dating scene. And then you have certain days you're like, oh, you have, oh, it's Friday and Saturday. And I'm like, oh, I got to worry. Like, yeah, it reminds me a lot of person. Time to go to work. <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh, I cannot wait for this, though. I, I really, I'm really hoping for this game. Um, Did we, uh, da -da -da -da. like, I'm already, I'm already trying to debate who I'm going to make my love interest. Like, I don't even know. <laughs> yeah, we're already there. We're already like, all right, who, who's, who's, who's going to be the nicest? Like, right. Um, uh, Early 2023. That's what the, that's what it said. So. You know, whatever that means. February or March. February on Valentine's Day, because you know where you're oh, dating that'd be some perfect. people. That'd be perfect. Street Fighter Six is next up, Alex. Uh, it showed off a couple quick, very snippets of things. It showed off World Tour mode. It showed off like a little fighting hub. It showed something called Fighting Ground. Uh, what did you say? When this trailer started, did you know it was Street Fighter? I had no yes. idea what was as going as, on. So as soon as it starts, that's a very iconic scene of Street Fighter, kind of like this kind of New York kind of space. Okay. But if you looked, as soon as it opened up, if you looked uh -huh. at the bottom left corner, there was a character from Street Fighter. 
that uh, I think oh. she's a celebrity. I don't remember her. Gotcha. I didn't know. I, I didn't I know saw, this was Street Fighter until I saw Ryu. No, yeah. As soon as I saw it, I went, oh, it's Street Fighter. Okay, cool. And I was like, all right, okay, let's show something cool. Let's show something cool. Because at first, <laughs> they weren't showing anything. And I was like, please don't end it like this. Please don't end it like this. Like, please show me something. The main thing that I got from this, at the very end, I was like, oh, they got a lot of shit from that emblem, so they changed it. Yeah, they clearly, I mean... Yeah, you clearly no, changed it. Now, to be fair, maybe that was like a whatever one. Like, they just threw it out there like, hey, you know, yeah. they don't and want you to read it. into the art style. Or yeah. they did fix that shit. Who knows? Maybe they fixed that shit. I don't know. I don't know. I will say, uh, I'm going to read this really quick. Um, so, after our teaser trailer, and of course, this is from PlayStation Blog. After our teaser trailer back in February, we hinted at a more hyper-realistic look for Street Fighter VI. We're proud to announce this new entry of the series is being developed by Capcom's own RE engine. They're developing this on the RE engine, everyone. Previously used to create Resident Evil 7, Village, and Devil May Cry 5 with the RE engine, you'll notice enhanced visuals with every aspect of the game. Beads of sweat will roll down across skin, muscles will tense up when used, and cherry blossoms will flitter and twirl in line with the character's movements. Pair the graphic upgrades, blah, blah, blah. This yeah. is cool. I'm pretty excited for Street Fighter games. I like them. I'm, uh... I don't think Alex, can you double check? Is this on other platforms? Because Street Fighter Five was not. So this could also be an exclusive. Uh, and they did debut some characters. Um, of course, we're getting Ryu, Chun Li, and Luke back. Um, they're redesigned, but the, we have a new face called Jamie, who has his own flair in the game with an unpredictable move style based on drunken boxing, which was very funny looking. Like he was like <laughs> kind of moving around. Remind me of um. Uh, I don't remember the thing, but it was Rock Lee from Naruto called Drunken Fist, I think. And he got drunk and he fought people. And it was really funny. It's, yeah, it's kind of like to go. It's trying to kind of be impersonating the drunken drunken monkey style, which is Jackie Chan's style That's that he did one. in the yep. movies. Yep. Um, Street Fighter 6 will be coming to twenty in 2023 for Xbox Series X and okay, S, so PS4 everything. and PC. It's everything. Okay. Never mind. Mm -hmm. Everything. I will say this does look sick. This kind of sh is very similar to the Street Fighter 5 kind of. I don't know what you'd call it, but like the art style where like the like paint paint splatter kind of stuff is happening. Like you can see it in their moves. Like when they hit someone, there's kind of like this paint splatter that goes around their movements. That looks really cool. I've never been a I've never been a Street Fighter guy, but if it go, I don't think it will. If it comes to Game Pass, I will definitely try it. But I, I I'm not gonna go out of my way for it. I yeah. probably watch you play because I I know you like you like Street Fighter. Yeah, you're not a huge even fighting game guy, right? I mean, I don't think. I mean, I. Mean, I if I had to pick, I'd go more Tekken than this. Mm, mm. And then, I mean, of course, Mortal Kombat first or, or Dragon Ball Z before any of these. I think, um, yeah, I'm, ex hey, I'm excited for this. I was trying to find um, yep. a couple more stuff, but hey, I can't, I can't wait for this. <laughs> I, I would love, I love uh, playing the fighting games just to kind of like wet my whistle, play it around, have fun. Maybe play with my mm -hmm. dad a couple of rounds. I think it's the, I've just never been good with the combo thing. It was like, oh, you know, X F oh, 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 oh. yeah, I've never Street been. Street Fighter is combo combos. city. Like yeah. you, the only so way to be good at it is. Like I was never good. Dude. Like it was just those combos. Is just like it was just always hard. Right. Uh, Tunic very quick. It was very quick. Tunic showed up coming to PS4, PS5, September 27th. So it's leaving Xbox as an exclusive coming to both PS4 and PS5, September 27th, and I believe it also is coming to Switch too that same day. I think. So I think it's coming to everything. Yeah. Um, I'll be honest, this game, I was like, what is this? So season, um, letter to the future. Hey, sorry, season colon, a letter to the future was shown. So I, th I honestly couldn't tell what this was. It looks like you're taking pictures of games. Maybe you're, you're talking with people too. Um, let me see if they have. It's just... <laughs> Here's when I looked at it, it was like a walking sim with taking pictures and interacting and stuff like that. I couldn't tell what was like really like what was the what we were, what was the point of the game was. Let me tell you. A gameplay the gameplay of season a letter to a letter to the future. I don't know why I'm struggling with that. Focuses on exploring, recording, meeting people, and unraveling the strange world around you. At any point you can hop off your bike and equip a tool from your bag. Each captures a different layer, sounds and music, art and architecture, voices of old people, vanishing religious practices, the traces of seasons long past, your tools help you peel back these layers until you're able to grasp the culture, history, and eco ecologically underneath everything ecology sorry hmm. 
Your camera can capture anything you see. Your microphone can capture and play back anything you hear though directional, uh, through directional sound recording. This action also prompts moments of reflection and inquiry as you understand your surroundings, sparking thoughts and investigation from Estel. Use the recordings of the present to unlock answers for the future. Estel. I like mine better. It is Estelle, though. <laughs> Your time spent with other people is crucial. Yeah, but, okay, so it looks like, um... It looks like what they showed us. You're taking pictures of things. You're yeah. getting audio recordings. You're, this sounds like, um... This sounds cool, but I probably won't play it. But yeah. it sounds fucking sick. I'm glad games like this are being made, because... No, for sure. You, Again, I mean, you have those people unique, like, just you know, wanna, it's just want to... It's more of a relax, you know, and you just jump into it, you know? It's you don't need to like, hide jumps. If it looks good enough, I might just buy it just to give the devs some money just because it, yeah. it does look cool. It's just not for me. Yeah. yeah. My favorite thing, though, if, if that um recording thing is like cool enough, like I don't know if you're just recording it and like not doing anything, but if you're like able to mix it or something with stuff, that sounds mm-hmm. kind of sick. Oh, and I, I, there's another part on that. It says with the PS5 DualSense, you'll be able to feel the terrain under the tires thanks to the haptics. So when you're cycling, you That's feel resistance cool. in the controller adaptive triggers when pedaling up the street steep hills. And then when you enjoy relaxing coast downhills, you know, so it'll loosen up. All right, that's so pretty that, cool. Yeah, because it says you don't have to stick to the main road. Cycling off beaten path will lead you to hidden places and new discoveries. So you can go off track and go anywhere. That's pretty cool. That is very cool. And Alex, hmm. the show ends with Final Fantasy 16. We get the director, or sorry, um, the executive producer on there, uh, kind of basically like, hey, the, you know, we wanted to show you something. I think it was actually, um, yeah, the director, Hiroshi Otaki. I'm pretty sure it's who it was. Um, uh, before we jump into Final Fantasy oh. 16, do we need to, because uh, <laughs> um, we talked about Resident Evil earlier, we didn't mention Village is getting a VR version. Do we did. need to work? Okay, you did. Yeah, yeah. I don't remember. You did. Yeah, I did. Remember, I said the uh, the hand sucking is going to be interesting in VR. You probably blacked out for a couple minutes, but I did say that achievers. Okay. Achievers, uh, fix come them. at me with the comments. All right, at go at it. All right, him. but all right, cool. I did. Let's 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 talk about this game. Final Fantasy 16 looks very. I, I wrote down some notes. Looks very action oriented. Looks like you have quick access to abilities mid combat. Um, it shows it shows a bunch of summons fighting each other, which I'm very interested in why they had mm-hmm. um, health bars. So I'm curious if you're fighting a summon with other summons. Uh, I'm be honest, it looks very Kingdom Hearts. I know probably a lot of people are like, shut the fuck up, but it does. I mean, I, I don't know what I don't know if you want me to lie to you, but that's what it looks like. It looks like a, a like a melding of Kingdom Hearts with Final Fantasy VII's combat. Um, and, it, and it looks even more action oriented than Final Fantasy VII's does because it doesn't even look like there might be a menu. Maybe there will be, but well, I mean, I was gonna say, well, fifteen was the first one before they redid seven. So I mean, even that one, I mean, I would say the yeah, combat but, was more like fifteen, wouldn't it? Yeah, but fifteen didn't have the. Hmm. Yeah, wrong. I would have to play 15 to really remind yeah. myself. It's been so well, long. I mean, but... Didn't 13 even have, or was that time? It was no, that turn based as well. 13 was super different. Yeah, that was kind of turn based. It was, was like, it, ac- it, it, I think it's was cool. that, it was like there was like oh the quick action things. There was a lot going on in those. Yeah, that had the um, fuck was it called? What was the battle system called? It was really cool. I don't remember, but it was it was cool, and it's nothing like this. I mean, it, mm. that that had more of an action timed battle, um, mm-hmm. where you're still taking turns, quote unquote, but everyone has a time gauge associated it with them. Command synergy battle. Yeah, synergy. That's what it was called. Synergy. That was sick. Yep. Where you could like mm-hmm. combo stuff. Like that was so cool. Yeah. That's that, that didn't look anything like this. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, and he Ooh. also. Yeah, he, he, he did a quick little note. Um, you shot an uh, Naiki. I think I fucked mm. that up, but hopefully I did. Um, and he kind of just gave a quick note, like, "Hey, you know, here's what we're gonna show you this, but we're busy at, at work on the game, so basically, like, you, you're gonna get this, and you'll probably not get much else." We're gonna have, we got a whole other year before it comes out. Yes, and uh, let's hope it comes out then. Uh, let's yeah. be honest with ourselves. Let's let's hope it comes out then, but Alex. Let's, mm. I I don't know if, how excited you are about this, but I want to gush about this game. This looks really cool. 
Looks look, fake. So, look, oh, I'm ex- yeah, no, I'm excited to dive into this world, and, but like the the trailer, I think, was just a little all over the place, mm. so I didn't know what was going on. Like, I don't I, blame I, you. I it tried to focus, quick. just trying to figure. Out. I know there's a war. It looks like a war going on. Yeah. I could see the king was talking, and I couldn't tell if like the main, the the main. I'm assuming the main person you play is uh, getting like not recruited, but like he's you know he has to help. But like I, I mean like any other one. But like I I just could not tell what was going on. It was just a little like the trilly just kept jumping back and forth between talking and then summon battles and then talking and then war. And then some uh, like talking. I'm like, bro. Like, I don't know what's happening. It was a it 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 was a good it's trailer, a cool but trailer. but there was a lot. It was a lot. Yeah. And I think. Uh, yeah, I, I I get I get you. It was very hard to follow. I think I'm just so I was just so into it that I'm like, yeah. fuck yeah, this is all. And like, I'm excited oh, because was I was like, like, awesome. I, my big thing is like, oh, like well, you know, the trailer really emphasized emphasized on Ifrit and all the it did. Yeah. It and all everybody. I'm like, what does that mean? Is this like the first time they've been used? They're u- being used? They're like, what? What Look, is? Why the are they? If, if there's some Final Fantasy novelists out there. Or some yeah, like, lore enthusiasts. On this. Let me know if that and en- because it ended with a big thing like. Ifrit, what what did he even say? He was like, uh, he son, he, "Sons he of Light" or something. Awesome. And I was like, I was like, okay, is this a big deal? Like, I was like, am I supposed to be he like, oh shit? Yeah, because they just he repeated all the summon sign, and then he was like, "Bahamut, Ifrit," and then the uh, other ones, and I'm like, wait, are they just like, is this like the one where like, oh, there are not these is when they first get in contact with these summons, or because I was like, we don't even let's, like let's, let me fantasy read. Is so like different because i only like i can't even ask when this takes place because they're so different Cause, well, yeah because they aren't they aren't technically related some of them are but not really <laughs> yeah. let's let's read a quick thing though permanent economic advisor hugo kubka's q kubka's meteor okay. rise to uh, it sounds a lot like kefka which is very cool meteor <laughs> rise to prominence was sudden if not unexpected once a nameless foot soldier in the Republican army, he awake is awakening as dominant of the Econ? Econ? Yeah, Econ Eakin? Titan yeah. thrust him to the forefront of, oh my god, Dalamican? Dalamican politics? Domekian. Domekian, yeah. There we go. Sounds like Namekian from Dragon Ball Z. Namekian, but it's doll in front of it. Domekian. It was here he used his newfound position as the most powerful man in the Republic to exert influence over both the nation's armies and his and its policy making, amassing a personal fo- fortune in the process. Yet while it is said that a man who has everything wants for nothing, oh my God, Benedicta Harmon, Benedicta Harmon will teach him money and power are far from all the world has to offer. Yikes! Okay, I love Final Fantasy. What did I just read? <laughs> what what did I just read? I don't know what the fuck's happening. <laughs> Having emerged from the storm of youth, cl- cold-hearted and ruthless, Benedicta Harmon, dominant of the Econ Garuda, Ruda. warden of the wind, turned her talent for swordplay and subterfuge into a command of Wolid's elite intelligencers. Intelligencers. It is on a mission to find the elusive second icon of fire that she crosses path with a like-minded clive and is forced to face her path there's too much going on in these yikes games, eh? maybe but don't lead pro- with all that in your opening guys i'm sorry yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm reading all of that it's like this is too much i'm not playing this but like <laughs> I, know, I know this game is probably going to be good but like that was like oof like, all you had to tell me was, like, oh, this one man who's now in charge of all these people has to do... Like, you could have just simplified it for people like me. Which, all of that just turned... It was just a big oof. No, I, bro, I don't really blame you. Because that <laughs> was a lot. I, you know, so... You know, I don't... Like Look, a super that's Final Fantasy. Fantasy. He, I just gotta say it. That's just Final Fantasy. It's nonsense. I would have been, like... What is this? All right, whatever. Yeah, I look. I feel you, dude. 
um they did announce some of the leadership uh behind this uh okay. and some people including me got pretty excited so i'm gonna name off a couple people so here hirisho taki i'm over at moby games uh he worked on um at development supervisors of uh, final fantasy 14 mm-hmm. online stormblood and heaven sword he was a battle effect and battle design of legend of mana uh, he was an assistant director on Heaven Sword and A Rail Reborn. Um, he's on, he, I mean, a bunch, I can keep going, a bunch of stuff. Yeah. Romancing Saga 2 and 3 back in the 90s. He worked on Yeez as a debugger back in 1988. Like, this guy's Yeast been in really for good. a very long time. So, mm-hmm. um, that is one of the, let's see. And that was the, that is the main director. Main director, yep. And then let's see. We have the producer, of course, Naoki. Yoshida. Naoki Shida. Let me grab his stuff because I'm sure all these gentlemen it's are fucking, talented. It, the the setting for the protagonist, Clive Rosefield. Why does when I read it, I thought it said Chris Redfield. Yeah, I could see that. Like I was like, what the fuck? Okay. Look, I'm. And it I'm looks like Chris Redfield. Here. You know what? So we can get a sense about the combat. Let's look at the combat okay. director. Let's see what he is done. Okay. Yeah, just so we can see, like... Ryoto Suzuki has walked on. Alex, you'll appreciate this. Mm. Dragon's Dogma, Dark Arisen, and Dragon's Dogma, both game design leads on both. Oh. Um, and he worked, Alex... Okay, this is pretty exciting for me. I know this isn't huge for you. He worked on Devil May Cry 5. He was one of the designers on there. So All that right. is pretty hype. He was also in Devil May Cry 4. Um, you know, eh. uh, more, oh, wow. He's, he worked on Marvel vs. Capcom 2, which is awesome. That's really cool. And All Marvel right. vs. Capcom 3. Super Street Fighter 4. So, yeah, he has... And he helped... It looks like he got special thanks on almost all of the DMCs from 2013 on. So okay. he's he's been into he's worked with Devil May Cry. So we might get a very like bombastic gameplay from okay. uh, this. I mean, having your uh, let me double check to make sure. Yeah, having your combat director be can involved in Devil May Cry Five, bro. Like can, that's big. Can, can you see who the combat? Per, uh, uh, I don't know how fast you can do it. The combat uh, designer for uh, the new Final Fantasy, The Strangers of Paradise. Jesus. He's- uh yeah i could try okay are you just curious why am i looking this up curious i don't yeah i'm just curious for some reason i was like i'm assuming i don't i don't know if he like is part of this at all no no that was team ninja that made that oh. they're nowhere near this um that, okay. that makes sense because that game was total like so like like neo and neo's by team ninja so okay that makes sense yeah yeah so they're nowhere near this i'm trying to see if i can okay. f- quickly just get a few people. Well, if it was developed by Team Major, then we could see. Yeah. Yeah. So Team Major, it was completely different. Let me let me go. Okay. But yep. But uh, I'll be honest. I'm. That makes me more excited. Devil May Cry mm-hmm. Five. I mean, if it even has the inkling of Devil May Cry Five's funness, that's gonna be very exciting. Mixed with Final Fantasy's fire augas and like super crazy moves that they can pull off. Mm-hmm. I'm. I can't wait for this. Now, Alex, are you? You still on the fence with this? Kind of a little soured from both the trailer because you seem kind of low on it. No, because I am excited. I've, oh, I, I'm excited to play like you know the next Final Fantasy. I always love those worlds, and I, I have ever since because I, I don't mind the turn base, but I do prefer the more uh, hack and slash you know type of thing. You know, ever since uh, I mean, I, I of course I love Kingdom Hearts. I love Fifteen. I mean, I mean, I like all the, all those games. That I was just like I'm. I'm excited to play it. I'm just uh, just that trailer was just like, dude. I just <laughs> I don't know what's going on, and I just uh, I'm I'm sure I'll play it, but like that was just a lot. I will say the screenshots look beautiful. No, for sure. Yeah, no. The the like the game his arm, looks. His armor looks, looks sick. awesome. It looks like um a variation of Dragon Age Two Hawks armor. The champion okay. of Kirkwall armor set, which mm-hmm. is like what you see in all the trailers for the game, like it looks a <laughs> lot like that. Yeah, it, it looks pretty sick. I'm just gonna. No, say yeah, that. I'm excited to explore the world. Like I see some screenshots of the world and the way it looks. I'm like, hey, do we know if this if this is this game in Unreal Engine Five? Do yeah. we know? No, it's not. No, okay. I I, do, I don't know what engine they're using. Let's see if I can find it. What it's engine? FF15. I, I actually don't know. 16. Luminous Studio. Graphics Engine. 
All right. Yeah. Lu- Luminous Studios graphic engine. Looks like let's Studios. see if I can find some information on this because if there's one thing I don't I don't know a lot of is engines. Yeah, I wonder what I wonder what they've. Oh wait, no, I did fifteen. Why did I do fifteen? I'm stupid. I wonder if they've done anything past sixteen. In early establishment. I don't think we know. At first, I'd like. Well, I think they worked on fifteen. So fifteen was on Luminous. Yeah. Now I'm trying to find okay. what sixteen. I don't know if we know. Okay. Yeah, I don't. I don't think. Hmm. Yeah, uh, I, some, yeah. Some people are just saying it would assume they'd assume it's going to be the luminous one. Yeah, some people are saying it might be a custom engine of luminous, so they might use luminous and then make a variation of it for the game. Yeah. So doesn't look like we know, but it's probably luminous. So yeah, because yeah, apparently, know, but, it's apparently, fourteen does use a custom version of luminous yeah, already. I so. saw that too. Yeah. Okay. We don't know, but most likely it's luminous. I'm excited. Yeah. Yeah. Alex, that was the state of play. I think uh all in all, pretty good, if not great. I think it's by far the best state of play I think they've ever done. The only thing that rivals it with the Last of Us one, and I think the only reason it was good is because it had Last of Us in it. Um so I'm definitely higher on it than you are, I feel like. But mm. um uh that's I mean really I I don't have too much else to say. What do you you have any parting thoughts? I mean, just like you know, like I said, some of these games, like I am excited for, for like Final Fantasy, Callisto, Stray, Eternites. Like I am excited for like most of these games, but I think it's just like what they showed. Like it was just like, eh, okay. Like uh, with uh, like I said, with I have like I really Res- the Resident Evil Four, cool. I mean, like, but it's not really my thing. Horizon, I'm kind of worried about. So, you know, like, it was, like, a 50-50. That's why I was, like, eh. Because, so, like, half the stuff I didn't really care for and half the stuff I did, so. That is our state of play breakdown, review, reactions. Thank you so much for tuning in for that. We're going to now turn our ship towards the regular episode that we always run. The iceberg. Uh, yeah, we're not going to hit the iceberg. Uh, so we're going to turn our ship into the regular episode. If this is all you came for, thank you so much for listening. Of course, like, comment, blah, 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 five star. But, Alex, hmm. let's start the show with a question I ask you every single week. What have you been playing? Hmm. So, like, uh, I've been playing, like I said, a little bit of Final Fantasy uh, Stranger of Paradise, or however the hell you would fucking say it. Um, I do, like, I, 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 I actually am enjoying it. Uh, because I've been playing, I said Neo a lot, and mm. I um, the combat's pretty fun. It was, you know, it's very Soulsy, but it's like different because it's more linear. There's like mission to mission. Uh, this game is pretty much, pretty much the same, but it's the same, like we just, found, I just found out, yeah, like I said, it's by Team Ninja, so it's very similar. There's mission to mission. You know, you have different. Uh, you can have two different type of uh, weapons. It's like you can either have like a the a great sword, or you could switch it and have like you know. The, uh, these like dual knives that you have, so you could switch back and forth in between combat. So it's kind of like you know, it's soulsy, like quick type, like you know, you could back and forth dodge or whatever, and you're like you know, hack and slash. And it's like more dungeony, so that's usually how they like how they are, how they all are. But they're, I like it. It's fun. Um, I'm, I would definitely I haven't been disappointed yet, so that's a good thing. Okay. Um. Other than that, I mean, I don't. I haven't I haven't played much. I've just been catching up on shows. Like I'm actually watching Ozark right now still. Um Just Ozark? Huh? Just Ozark? Is that the only show yeah. you're watching right now? Yeah, I fin- yeah, I finished I finished Stranger Things like right off the bat. Yeah, you did. Yeah, I finished yeah, I finished that. Alive. Quick. It lasted a day. Mm-hmm. I caught I, I caught up with Obi Wan. I watched the newest episode. So good. I'm I'm upset. I'm upset that it's a limited series. Like I'm like upset. So um, transitioning into mine really quick. Okay. Since you brought up Obi Wan, I enjoy the Obi Wan. I haven't watched episode three yet. So maybe it gets better. Uh, episode two and a little bit of one. I'm sorry. Why do we have light spoilers? Why is a child actor in this? It's kind of rough to have someone so young acting. Because like sometimes she does good, but sometimes she. 
she's just an like a child and it's like it's like oh my god I, like she doesn't know how to act she's like five so but um it has very much um sitcom vibes with like full house kind of shit i'm like really what is, what's going on yeah not not that bad i'm being a little over it's just it's weird i think the weirdest thing and i'm not the first one to say this like everyone said it over the week so i'm not going to exaggerate the point but one of the worst things i've seen so far is that fucking chase scene in the forest that was really bad that was comically yes, bad. No, I even said that. I was like, yeah, that was... Pr- I Honestly, I feel like they put in that... They're in Ooh. that to be dumb. But like... No, uh, I don't... I can't <sighs> believe people looked at that and went, yeah, keep that in the show. There's literally a scene where a man walks up to a branch and goes, oh, I can't walk over <laughs> this. <laughs> I, <just laughs> I was like, what is going on? Now, all that being said, I know what this is building up to. I'll watch this until we get to that and I'll be fine with it. So, uh, mm. hey, as soon as I get to what I want, I don't give a fuck. I'm going to keep watching it. So, yeah. I know what we're building up to. This kind of feels like I got to eat my vegetables before I get to the dessert kind of thing. Where it's like, okay, mm. I got to, like, wait. And he has to have a reason to do the thing. So, I got to wait. Okay, we're going to do that. Okay, now this is going to build up to him going to here. So, cool. All right, just got to wait for that. Just got to wait for that. And then as soon as that happens, we get the cool stuff. And I'm going to be excited. So, Obi-Wan thoughts. Only two episodes in. We're watching it two at a time, so I won't watch three until four comes out, and then I won't watch five until six comes out. So we'll have full thoughts later. Yeah, for me, I've I mean I've enjoyed it every episode. I've I mean I'm enjoying it. Yeah, I just have critiques. But yeah, I'm having fun. Um, yeah, Star Wars is fun. I'm having fun. Yeah. Uh, I am um, uh, finally finished Ozark. Jesus, that's all I gotta say. I don't want to say anything else, but my God. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I haven't really been playing games. I've yep. been kind of taking a break. I haven't really played much. I played yep. some Destiny 2 with some friends for a couple hours here and there. I played a little bit of Fire Emblem, not much. Uh, but that's really it. I haven't been playing too many games. I've kind of been relaxing. Oh, I did start Diablo Immortal on the PC. <laughs> did you like it? Um, it yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty cool. You I started like Diablo, it. I, so, you like Diablo. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah, I started on the PC. I was going to play it on my phone, but I was like, you know what? Hey, I mean, it's on PC. I'll just play it on my PC. And I was actually going to text you earlier and be like, hey, you want to join me? <laughs> I need to download it. I would definitely try yeah. it. Um, I'm not picking my phone up and playing the game, though. No, no, that's why I, was, really, I looked at my phone and I was like, what am I doing? I could do this on the computer. Yeah, phone on the computer. I would, I'm not touching my phone for that. So. No, no, no. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'll, play, I'll definitely try that out just to just see if I like it. I'm going to... Um, there are a couple games I want to try out this week. Let's see if I get to them. Citizen mm-hmm. Sleeper is one of them. I know you didn't quite like that game, but I'm definitely going to give it a try. I'm just, I'm just not in it's the not mood a, for that type yeah, of game right it's, now. It's not a very you game. I mean, yeah. if I had known what it was, I would not have recommended it to you. Like, literally, I just, I guess, I, like I said, maybe I'm just, it's either not my type of game or, it's not your type of game. or and. Like, I was just in a mood because, like, the whole time that when it started, I was like, oh my God, another paragraph? Mm-hmm. Like, like where's where's the gameplay and yeah, then like, that's, I was just like the, that's the game so yeah and I, I was just like no no thanks yeah it, it's basically like you, you're kind of reading like that's the game you read you react you kind of do stuff it's very yeah, no um, stylized I, I can't wait to try it um so i'll let you know my impressions when i play it yeah but uh uh what else there was something else i wanted to play oh uh chorvis so weird name but it looks very cool yeah so it's coming to game pass in the next couple days you play as like a flight sim like flying around in space it looks really cool so yeah i'm definitely gonna try that uh aside from that that's basically all i had planned for the week um so yeah because like i said i haven't been playing any games but that's the stuff i'm looking forward to touching yeah alex so i have Go ahead. It's stylized. Oh, okay. So the game is actually called Chor uh, Choris, like R U S, but it's stylized with a. It looks like a V, but cool. it's actually a U. Awesome. Well, I was trying to figure it out. It's like well, there, I don't see no Chorv's game, but it, apparently it's just called Chorus. That's why I was confused. <laughs> I Let's was like, make a U game. Yeah. Let's just put it to you. Anyways, rapid fire. Xbox Design Land came uh, offline for a few hours. It looks like they're hinting at some new designs coming soon. 
Um, and they also showed off a new controller set of being Pride Month. There's a new controller design and some gear that you can go purchase if you'd like. The controller design is a bunch of rainbows, a bunch of the Pride flags. If you want to check that out, uh, just go over to the Xbox Wire. You'll probably find some stuff. There's a couple more things. Tell me why it's going to be available for free on the Microsoft Store during the month of June to celebrate Pride Month, as well as Halo is getting a new Pride emblem and nameplate. And as well, Forza Horizon 4, 5, and Motorsport 7 are all getting a Pride Roadster. So it's like a... I don't know. I can't tell what type of... Uh, or what the designer of the car... I think it's just a... I think it's just Forza. I think they just made the car. So if you want all I'm, that, I believe you just log into those games. You'll get them for free. Uh, and make sure to grab Tell Me Why if you want to try that out. It is free for the month. I have not played it, so I can't tell you if it's good or not, but I definitely want to try it. It, it looked very much like um, Life is Strange. Uh, yeah, no, I I started it, and I'm actually uh, when I started the game, it, I was like the way it started and the like the story is. I'm like, whoa, this is like pretty cool. Like, I'm actually interested, but like, I I put it down, and I never got a chance to go back to it. But it's one of those games where like I do want to. John Madden will be on the cover for Madden 23. Foreseen, he did pass away suddenly. Uh, I guess not suddenly. He was old, but he did pass away recently. So he will be celebrating. He will be celebrated on the cover of Madden. And I love the two covers they have. I will definitely. Mm-hmm. I might actually buy one of these just to have it because it looks <laughs> really nice. Uh, so ch- check those out if you are interested. Um, I think only two covers have been revealed so far: the PS4, PS5, and you know the Xbox One and the Series X covers. So check them out if you want to take a look. Um, and Alex, I don't know if you saw this. I assume you did. Dragon Age got a name. So the newest Dragon Age game will be called Dragon Age Dreadwolf. That's really all we have. <laughs> they, they announced it on Twitter. No. I don't know why, but they did. Now, are you a lore, are you a lore, a lore person for Dragon Age? Yes, you are you what asking it, what, it, what the Dreadwolf is? Y- correct. Yes, I do. It's, okay. The Dreadwolf is a elven god okay and oh my god i can't tell you the cool thing without fucking spoiling the shit out of dragon age so i'm not going to just in case someone wants to play it out there just some uh, a big twist happens in dragon age Inquisition that involves the dread wolf if you play the game you will find out alex i don't think you remember what it is I, yeah i don't remember i will tell you off air okay um so I'll tell you after the show, but essentially it, a big, very big thing happens at the end of Dragon Age Inquisition that then hints at the, uh, you kind of get a post credit scene after the game ends too with, um, was there a, st- was there a certain, uh, I'm not going to like say anything. Was there a Careful. certain companion? Was there a certain companion had to do with this? There's a character that is involved in this. Yeah. I'm saying like in Dragon Age Inquisition, I mean, you know, all the, all the companions that you can get or whatever. There's one specifically that I'm thinking of. I would of. say there is a character involved in this. I'm not going to say if it's a companion it. or not. There is Got a it. character that is involved with the Dreadwolf. Um, but this is not surprising that it's the name. So this doesn't tell us much about the game. We already knew what it was going to be about. So now the question is, what will they employ with this? How will the Dreadwolf be involved? What is going on with that character slash characters that we see at the end of the game? I'm excited to see more. Uh, seeing just a trailer will tell us more. I'm not. I <clears throat> he tells of a tale at the end of the game. I believe that invokes um, a return to Elven ways. I think or something. Or he wants like. The Elvish to bring back. I have to replay the series. I actually wanted to play Dragon Age Origins again. I actually got a hankering mm-hmm. to play it again. So I think I will do another Origins playthrough because I just I still love playing that game. So I think I'm going to do an Origins playthrough and then play Inquisition. Mm-hmm. I started it on PC because I have Origins and 2 on PC. I kind of want to play it on PC too because of I've mods. never beaten it. Yeah, I, that's what I was thinking. But I'd never beaten the first one, so I was tempted. Anyways, um... I think that's all I have to say. I wish I had another nut, Dragon Age nut, to bounce shit off of. Because I have theories, but I don't Mm. have a lot. And I don't have a bunch of 
things to back up because I haven't played it in a long time. So I do want to play it more so I can get a little more excited for the game so I can have a bit more of an understanding of Dragon Age. Yeah. But I cannot, Alex, I want you to read my lips. I cannot wait for this game. And I hope it is good. They haven't made a bad one yet. They haven't even made just a good one yet. They've all been great to, to amazing to me. I know yeah. people disagree with that and they're wrong and I'm sorry <laughs> for that. But I play, I play, I love two, and I love Inquisition. I just need to go back. I when I played one at the time, I wasn't into those games, and then I was introduced to it again by you, and I just never got back to the I, first one. Look, I get when people say they don't like Origins. I kind of get it. Like it's pretty, you know, it's cumbersome now. It didn't age great, especially. In I mean, the, I, remember, I even remember the spot where I stopped. So I was like, I just need to get past that part. <laughs> yeah, so I, I get when people say they don't like one, but really try Inquisition out. Like it is a very good game, and no, I yeah. think. I think the games are only better if you've played them all. Mm -hmm. If you play one, two, and then go into Inquisition, and you have that history, and then you import all your stuff, like it's so. It's good. like Mass Effect. It's yeah, so good. It's so good, Alex. Mm. Rumor roundup. Shh, rumor roundup. Mm. This is a rumor according to um. Oh uh, Jesus! Let me grab the. Uh, I think this is Xputter. Was it Xputter that I grabbed this from? I forgot to grab the source. I apologize. Wow. You have one job. I did, and I fucked it up. Um, according to a, it's a bunch of people, to be fair, so it's not, it's not wrong to say this, but a bunch of people are going around on the internet saying they're hearing rumors that the game Atomic Heart is getting pushed. I don't know if you remember mm. this game, Alex. If you look it up real quick, I think you'll remember it. Um, but it is, is the... This is this the bioshock -y looking yes. steampunk one? Yes, and it looks, it's got like that weird FNAF guy yeah, yeah it's going like on thing opens up yeah it's now, face opens up yeah I th is this being made in russia mm. yes it is so that complicates things now we did recently have a russian game release um okay. so maybe it's not a big deal but who knows but there are this is a russian studio it's called mundfish they actually kind of said uh, they reported it was in, of course, um, Russian, but they said that the game is not delayed. They said it's untrue, but I mean, you know, who who knows? It looks interesting. It does look cool. I would love to try it out. It looks, yeah, honestly, it looks terrifying because it looks like a real <laughs> yeah. version of FNAF, and I don't like that. <laughs> yeah. Obsidian's Josh Sawyer. Studio design director teases his next game will be in an Xbox showcase. Uh, the rumor is that the game is called Pentiment. Now, this is a old rumor, so we don't know if this is true or not, but he did a weird kind of tweeter tweet thing. If you go to his thing, let's see if he's deleted it, but I think he just did the uh, like he did the thing where you're like, uh, what, like the emoji that like is, is painting their nails and he's like, oh, we'll, we'll see you at the showcase thing. So he's heavily hinting that his next game is going to be there we'll have to see if it's uh really there or if he's uh referencing something else from obsidian but if it all comes down to it you know he might be there see so, yeah let's see if it's still here uh oh he might have deleted it all right well that tells you everything you know if he deleted it i'm not seeing it so you might delete it oh yeah i think he yeah, I think he deleted it. So here we go. This might be true. So we'll expect more at the Xbox showcase. That's it for Room Roundup. Let's get into. So, Alex, I don't know if you saw this. There was a weird thing that was going around. It had to do with Fable. I have not. So there is like a kind of rumor thing running around that Fable had to downscale from like engines and all of these things, money. Mm -hmm. It's kind of honestly all over the place. I couldn't figure out what people were um, saying, but there was actual response. This this was going so rapidly that someone felt to respond. A senior mm -hmm. producer on Fable at Playground Games responded with the following. I wanted to clear something up about scoping. It is normal, necessary, and a health part of game development. I can guarantee that every single AAA game you've ever played will have gone through scoping regularly during development. His intention is to make sure the team are focused under one clear vision and can get it made in the time they have without killing themselves. Games that haven't been scoped correctly often have delays and crunch, both we should be aiming to avoid whenever possible. So she felt the need to actually comment on this, saying, 
look, we are scoping, but it's not a big deal. Uh, I'm not familiar with scoping to really give you a honest to God, like it's good, bad, etc. I imagine it's not bad. I mean, once you have more of a clear picture, uh, you're able to scale appropriately depending on money. Now, there is a giant talent force issue right now in the games industry. That could be part of the reason why they needed Ansco. It could be a number of reasons. They could have not have as much funding as they thought or something like that. It could be a bunch of stuff, but I don't think this is a big deal. If this if this came out like mid like when the game's about to come out, maybe I start freaking out then. But as far as I understand, this game's still pretty far. We're talking maybe two years from now, maybe even three mm. years. So I'm not really gonna get worried until we get a little closer. Um, Alex, since this is your first you're hearing, do you even care? Well, I, I just don't see why people are making a big deal out of it. I mean, let them do what they, I mean, got to do. I mean, don't try it. Like, I feel like it's weird. Like, people are jumping to escalations. I'm yeah, like, I think so they're, they're, they're not, they don't know what's going on. Just like, I don't, you'll, get the, you'll get the game when the game comes out. No, to play devil's advocate for a second. I think I understand from the point of view that some Xbox fans might be desperate for a good game. Maybe I don't necessarily blame them because... Uh, me being an Xbox fan, it yeah. takes way too long for us to get games over here. So I maybe I sympathize a little bit with that. It does not seem that there was good intentions behind the um, supposed downscaling conversation that people were having. It seemed like to be some sort of bad faith argument that was going on. So, mm. you know, I don't really care too much about those types of folks. But to play Devil's Advocate, maybe that's what some people were worried about. But... I don't care. I, I I start getting worried when I see people leaving. Halo, yeah. for example. Halo 5 yep. losing directors. Yep. Halo 4 losing directors. You know, when that stuff happens, I go, what's going on over there? What's mm-hmm. going on? Why is Casey Hudson leaving Mass Effect for the th- 30th time? What's going on over mm-hmm. there, everyone? So that's when I start going, you got to start proving stuff before I, you know, get excited for your game. Yep. We'll see. Uh, this is going to be a quick one, Alex. Gearbox, I had a PR release. Gearbox Entertainment um, uh, completed the acquisition of Lost Boys Interactive. Uh, so it's completely um, done. They bought Lost Boys Interactive. You might remember them. Um, they had the little snippet. I'll just read from this. Founded in 2017, Lost Boys is a remote first studio. With presence in Madison, Wisconsin, and Austin, Texas. Lost Boys is led by industry veterans Sean Evans, Mark Stefanofowitz, Rod Runham, and Chase Jones and Tim Curtison. Since its founding, the studios work on global franchises such as Tiny Tina Wonderland, Call of Duty, and Players Unknown Battlegrounds. Now, these are apparently are mainly support studios. You're not going to see their name a lot, probably, or if mm. you do, uh, it is not like displayed. They're meant to be basically bought for a little bit, and and you work on the game for a while, and then you leave. So this is kind of uh, their shtick. They kind of help on stuff, and then they go. So uh, it looks like Gearbox just bought up basically more help. This is how yeah. you can get around the uh, later labor shortage that we talked about earlier, Alex. You, you you figure out these small studios that you can buy and retain talent that way. Yep. Alex, believe it or not, mm. that is the news for the week. Heavily state of play focused, and again, we did not have too much else other than, of course, this date update that closes out the show, and then, of course, we're going to hit what's queued up for the week, and then we're going to go. But Alex, before I let you go, mm. date update. Call of Duty is getting a worldwide release June 18th at 10 a.m. Pacific. Modern Warfare 2 is going to be uh, fully revealed, and Steam did a weird eyes emoji at the reveal, so heavily hinting that... Call of Duty is returning to Steam after being gone for the last, I want to say, four games, maybe three games. If you remember, they went to Battle.net. They are now Mm -hmm. probably, they are definitely coming back to Steam now. So Steam people, be happy, I guess. Pokemon Scarlet and Violet will launch on November 18th. Fully open world, it looks like. Fully online play with up to four players. You can all trade, battle, and explore. Um, there's going to be different professors in each version, of course, expected for Pokemon in each version, too. Mm-hmm. Um, I, Alex, I got very excited when I saw... Um, uh, the co-op? Uh, yes, the co-op. Yeah, the four-player co-op. That was really cool. Mm-hmm. Yep. You're able to run, and you're able to run around, too. I'm curious what what that means like if you're able to co-op are you able to like 
like let's say we are co-oping like okay is there more pokemon now or is there the same amount <laughs> are you helping me catch stuff or is it just like if you throw a pokeball you get you keep it is it only my world and whatever we See, catch I, we have i, I don't that's no, where I, assume, I might get confused the, gen- the general like if i join you it's whatever your world is and i can help you with stuff if i can i i I might not be able to catch stuff, so like you know, kind of like Animal Crossing, I'm not gonna, I'm not be able to like edit anything. I can just join you, so like, but maybe there's like not as much limitations. So I'm assuming I can, I can try to throw pokeballs. I don't know. I guess we'll see. I mean, I'm excited for the legendary with you know with the jet engines. You know, people were joking that he looked like a penis. What? Yeah. So if you like take a like a glimpse at him in a certain angle, he looks like a penis. Um. Someone clapped back and were like, "But a lot of Pokemon look like penises." And like they showed Mewtwo, where like he—I mean, he looks like—and then a Combuskin. You ever seen Combuskin? Mm-hmm. I mean, that looks like a penis. That was a weird thing on the internet. The internet is really weird if you look in the right places. Uh, oh, okay, I see what you mean. You see what you see it? Like if you cut, if you squint, it's like okay, I see it. You nasty people. Yeah, Fucking... the, yeah, yeah. A lot of horny people out there. Everyone relax. So I literally saw the purple one, and I was just like, "Oh, cool! He has like jet engines." I did the exact like, same thing. I did not go, "Oh, he looks like a penis." I did not do that. So I'm excited to play the game. Yeah, you horny people. If anything, the scar, the scarlet one looks like Blaziken mixed with Groudon a little bit. It does kind of. I'm excited for uh, uh, Alex. What do you who who's going to be your starter? I'm I'm think I'm going with Fukoko, which is the little apple dra- uh, dinosaur guy. I have to go with the dino. I mean, dino the, the, fire, the fire one, yeah. I have to go with the dino. Okay. I'm always the fire starter. Oh, you're always fire starter. Yeah, I'm always fire starter. I like, I like some. I know some people will be like, "Oh, you never start with the fire starter because you have to go with this one to help." You know, you it, like there's a there's a strategy apparently that you start out with a certain one. I don't care. I pick the one oh. that looks cute. So let's be honest. Right. We like we pick the one we like the best. Yeah, I pick. Um, it's always it's always the fire one. Now, I will say I pick the fire, I want to say, more often, but I'm not only picking That's fire. True. That's um, true. I pick, um, I do pick Charizard. I do pick Cyndaquil. I, I usually pick, um, Churchwick. Uh, sometimes I pick Chimchar. I go back and forth between those two. Um, so, mm. but I do pick the fire a, a lot, to be fair. So, let's see. Uh, yeah, Bubbles, uh, the fire one, Charmander. Yep. Cyndaquil and Totodile. That's the one that gets me because I love Totodile as well. Swampert's really good. Like you get a water ground type when he fully evolves, and I'm like, that's really good. Like, yep. Torchic, Trico, or Mudkip. I mean, yeah, I I always get Torchic. I usually go uh, Turtwig. Or no, sorry. Um, what's the uh, Trico? Trico. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Trico. Yeah. Usually go uh, Trico. Sometimes Uh, I go um, Blaziken just because you look sick. Piplup. I forgot what the monkey one is. Uh, Chimchar. Chimchar and. What is that, Turtwig? Yes. I usually go Turtwig. Sometimes I go Chimchar. He's really good when he I fully think evolves. I actually went Piplup with this one. Yeah, Piplup's really good. Yep. And then that uh, next generation didn't play it. It has the, 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 what is that, an otter? It looks like an otter, a oh, pig, and some green thing. I don't think I played that either. I know exactly what you're talking yeah. about. I didn't play that. Either. Yep, I didn't, I didn't play literally the next three generations because there's one that has a f- what is that a frog with a fucking I don't know. <laughs> it looks like a Sobble? fox, doggy, chihuahua looking thing. I think you're talking. Are you talking about the ones from uh, Legends? Oh no, no, not Legends. Arceus. Uh, Ultra, oh, no. Ultra Sun, probably. Maybe. Like I, yeah, I didn't re- do any of that. I love um. Oh, no. Here, I sent it. I sent you the picture through uh, Discord because I don't, I don't know what that is. <laughs> I can't pick it though because of the podcast. Let's see. Oh, that's right. No, oh, I just yeah, leave it. Just Ch- leave it. yeah, Chespin, Finnick, Froakie. Yeah, so I didn't play that one. Yeah. Oh, Rowlet, Litten, and Poppy. I usually I picked Rowlet here because he transforms okay. into um a big owl and he has a bow under his wing and it's sick oh, looking. That's, when he, that's pretty cool. It's pretty. It's pretty cool. Yeah. All right. Okay, let me get out of here. Let's go back to the show. We have a show mm-hmm. to do. <laughs> Destroy All Humans right. 2, Alex, is getting reprobed, launching August 30th. Very soon, you'll be able to play Destroy All Humans 2. Are you excited? So I am. Oh, but I- I'm hearing yeah. a butt coming. Why do I need split screen co op? Why can't you just. Mm-hmm. Who am I going to. Who's going to come over? You? 
I mean, like... I do, sometimes. I mean, we play Mario Party in this house when you come over, okay? We do, we do. Uh, so, like, w- like, I don't think we're going to sit down and be like, hey, you want to play Destroy All Humans? <laughs> yeah! No. <laughs> Okay, what like, do you even do in co-op? Do you just blow stuff up together? Like who blows I, up the most stuff? I assume so because I mean I assume you'd also be in aliens and you you know you can fly, you can run around, you could I mean I, you, I'm assuming you've never played Destroy Humans, have you? No, I have. I, I played the first one when you recommended, and then way way when it came out, I did, but I don't remember yeah. that. No, yeah, yeah, I'm sure you can. You'll probably be able to levitate people, take their brains. I'm sh- I don't know. It's it's more destroy humans, but I'm assuming you'll be able to have a co-op person with you, so you don't uh, like so you can help shoot. But I prefer it; it would have been online, and I hope they add that in. <gasps> Games coming to Game Pass in the month of June, starting with For Honor: Marching Fire Edition in cloud console and PC, June first. June second, we have Ninja Gaiden Master Collection console and PC, Assassin's Creed Origins Cloud console PC. June seventh, of course, with the new mm. frames per second patch coming, it will be sixty frames per second, four K. Chorus Cloud console and PC. June seventh, that's an ID at Xbox title. Disc Room Cloud console and PC, ID at Xbox. June seventh. Space Line from the Far Out console and PC, ID at Xbox. June seventh. Available day one on Game Pass. And then there's a couple of Ubisoft games in the Xbox app for PC. Um, it looks like um, nothing is being added. Why is that there? It, okay, sorry. So they're just saying you can now search games through Ubisoft Connect on the Xbox app, I think. Sorry that I even brought that up. That was very <laughs> confusing. Uh, leaving June 15th. This is a reminder. Leaving June 15th. That means June 15th. These games are going to leave. Not only do they leave, you're not going to be able to play them if you do not own them. But if you do want to own them, you will get 20% off if you buy the game. So make sure you save that money if you want any of these games. Starting with Darkest Dungeon, Cloud Console and PC. Dungeons and Dragons, Dark Alliance, Cloud Console and PC. Greedfall, Cloud Console and PC. Limbo, Cloud Console and PC. Worms, Rumble cloud console and pc alex that's mm. all the games come to game pass anything strike your fancy i'm excited <clears throat> i've already said chorus so that's a little bit cheating but chorus or- and i'm very excited for um would you go b- okay actually that's a screen origins would you go back to for honor no no yeah no. In a perfect world, sure. If I had infinite time, yeah. Am I really yeah. going to boot up For Honor and play? No, I'm yeah. not. I'm not so. Yeah, I I'm definitely want to try, retry Origins because I did enjoy that one a lot. And now that it's, it's 4K it's 60. Um, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, no, I've be, I've yeah, I know I've beaten all of them. I, I just remember. haven't done, I just didn't do everything. Right. This DLC too, probably, that we haven't played. I'm sure. I haven't even played the DLC for uh, the Ragnarok for Valhalla. Oh, I haven't even played Alex, that. Alex, you're losing your identity. The, to the achievers, you're the Valhalla Nordic guy. You got to reclaim that. Yeah, I just haven't had the time. What's that? Well, that's the Nordic police, Alex. They're gonna come take your mm-hmm. license. You better play mm-hmm. it pretty quick. Oh, I'm playing a, Nor- a Norse mythology horror game called Upsalov. So guys, he's playing Upsalov. Fossil it's, arm. Fossil it's actually, arm. It's actually pretty cool. They're standing down. They're 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 going back to the post. Mm-hmm. Games with gold for June, June first to June thirtieth for free. Hey, why Ave, do we even talk about Ave these? In Colony, because it's our job. Project <laughs> High Rise Architects Edition, June sixteenth to July fifteenth. Games with gold. You're not helping me here. Super Me Boy for, for the fifth time. time. But Super Me but. Boy, June first mm-hmm. to June fifteenth. That's your backwards compatible title. Alex, I don't even know what this is. Rascals. Oh, June Rascals. 16th like to the June 30th. <laughs> I don't even know what All that right. is. Xbox, I need you to help me. Alex is starting to say not to read these. So I, make it 10% better, please. I got to justify this somehow. Watch. In like in two more months, they're just going to give us Lego Batman again. <laughs> Lego Batman 1, 2, <laughs> and 3. This time, this time it's going to be Lego Marvel's Avengers. <laughs> they're going to go switch to Marvel. Oh, now to pour salt on the moon. Oh, look at this. June, look at this. June <laughs> month. Go to PlayStation. June monthly PlayStation Plus games are as followed. PS4, you're getting God of War. PS4, 
you're also getting Naruto Toboruto Shinobi Striker, and PS4 and PS5 is getting Nickelodeon All Star Brawl. So just when you com- so when you compare the two, it does get pretty rough, Alex. Let's be honest; it gets pretty rough. You get God of War, arguably one of the best games in the last five years. And, so- and, and look, I get it because most of all their games are on Game Pass. I yeah. get it. Yeah, but. You could give me something a little bit better than that. Come on, man. Project High Rise. So, <laughs> really? <laughs> okay, so, so, look, I'm done being with the games with gold. Like, I, I I'm done defending it. Last month, I almost, for- it. I almost forgot to, gar- to I grab them. I did too. I almost didn't grab them either. I've grabbed them. <laughs> it went away i was like oh shit i've grabbed them almost every whatever it is i usually always get. i almost forgot because it was just so forgettable it's so yeah. forgettable so we do this every month when they do it because it's always terrible i don't know i get it they probably don't have any money for this because they because they care about game pass they do not care if you care about this they want you yeah. to pay for game pass so i get yep. i get it i'm gonna keep saying it but why is it this bad <laughs> why is it this like, bad like, though really super meat boy <laughs> I, I swear that's bl- the third time they've done this one they've definitely done it before i don't blame them too much for super meat boy though because that is a fantastic game that is really a good game a lot of people like that Avon colony project high rise that's the two i'm like i've heard, I've heard Avon colony like rascals the two, rascals that I, uh, that I don't know rascals he's the only one that i can give credit to because i've heard a lot of people who like like sim building type type games that's actually really good yo if you're a sim builder this month is fucking for you like right. yeah like uh, like when you you've, you've 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 played all of sim city whatever the i don't know what, mm-hmm. whatever they play i don't Sims know what. 2000 so so now you've played when was it even so hold on let's see let's see let's see let's yeah, see let's yeah. see you do even right. calling i do project high rise project high rise when did these games come out so you had to have not bought in these games if you're fans of these type of games for even how long? Colony came out in 2017 project high rise came out in 2016 so you would have gotten about six years for both these games to not have already bought in them but if you didn't congrats you're getting it for free now as long as you have game best gold oh i guess i'll try even colony i won't but i'll download it or I'll claim it. I won't download it. <laughs> Alex, that is everything for the week. All the news and day updates for you coming at you every single Friday like normal. But don't go away just yet because we're going to check out what's going to be queued up for the week. Now, of course, this could be a game, a comic book, a book, maybe a podcast that you're learning to listen to. Maybe there's that special little show that you have that you put aside for the weekend just to dig into i'm going to ask alex what he has queued up for the week but of course this is just for him i want to know what you have queued up for the week let us know in the comments below remember we are always in the comments watching you Mm -hmm. not only watching you though we are answering every single question if you look at any video ever posted to this channel it has both a comment from either one or both of us and a like from both of us so we are literally always in it so Comment below. Yep. We'll get back to you. Now, Alex, I ask you, mm. what's cued for the week? So I definitely want to try chorus that you popped that you Chorvis. talked about. Yep. Chorvis, whatever. Yeah, Chorvis. <laughs> oh my god, I'm losing myself. Oh, um, I do want to go back and try a little play, try and play a little bit more of that Final Fantasy game. I, I want to see if I can give it more time. Let's see if it gets uh, any better, because it's it's just like it's it's like it's fun right now. But like I want it to be, I want it to be better. You know, there's so many better games out there. Why are you playing this uh, right now? <laughs> you got some in your backlog, I'm sure. I mean, there's, tell some, me one. there's something out there. I let me look at. I'll look at your achievement list and find a game like that. But I'm going. I'm trying to. Hit, I'm trying to do platinums and Fuck trophies. I'm your trying to bring trophies. up trophies. Fuck them. <sighs> There's nothing on Xbox right now. No, I will find a game that I, that you had not played. I'm sure that is better than Strangers of Paradise. A game everyone admits is bad, but still plays it. Fucking I mean, wild. <laughs> yeah. No. Other, uh, other than that, I mean, I've been playing. 
Apex a little bit here and there. Um, I'm planning on trying to catch, uh, like, do more Orzark. Um, other than that, I mean, I just, I'm just waiting just for something good to hit. <laughs> He's just waiting. I, I'm just picturing you in the shadows, just... Is there any good games yet? Yep. Oh, you hear his... No. It's what it's what, it's it's like those people. It's, 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 it's like those people like um you always hear about. They walk up into like a local retailer and be like, "You guys got any PS fives or Xboxes in?" No. All right. Come back like an hour later. Anything? Anything? All right. Hey, has anything changed? All right. Usually, I'm. I, I'm I want to know. Alex, this I think this speaks a lot to the games industry because there's a lot of people who don't know what the fuck to do. Dude, it's when's the last time we've had a calm period? Because there's people out there losing their fucking minds. Let's be honest with ourselves. There's people out there like finding new hobbies. It's wild. People gardening. I'm gardening. I'm literally. I'm growing tomatoes, Alex. I literally feel like a 50 year old man. I'm outside <laughs> digging dirt, flattening my grass, and growing grass. <laughs> that the thing is, I'm watching it, and I'm like literally going outside, watering it, watching it. I, I like watching it more than I like watching like paint dry. Like, I'm like sitting there, I'm like, oh my god, it germinated. <laughs> like, I don't understand why I enjoy this, and when did I become a 50 year old man? I want to show you something. Let me see if I can get. Oh, here we go. Let me see if I can get that in the show. Oh yeah, I saw. I saw. I saw. Yeah, your yeah. Peppers. So that's a banana pepper that I'm growing right okay. now. All Let right. me get that All jalapeno right. next. So All right. Here's the jalapeno. Look at that big old thing. That's my fingers oh. for scale. All right. All right. All right. Big. That's the first one. There. There isn't that many. There's a lot of smaller ones. You and then get this. Some? Get this. Is that a? Is that a tomato? Tomato. Oh. All that. right. It's coming. Now is it gonna is it gonna be red or is because I've heard of isn't there green tomatoes? Did you so just get green it? You tomatoes just... are just unripe. Tomatoes. Unripe. Okay, that's yeah. what, okay. It's a very southern thing to to get it unripe and then you fry yeah. them up and then you eat them. Not a fan of that. Uh, not a fan. Let me okay. let, let me let me back up. I've never had it, so I don't I'm know. not not a fan. But just... I'm not gonna pass up on a nice ripe tomato. No, for sure. Nice, perfectly brown, not too soft. Because you, as a kid. I always had the soft tomatoes and I hated them because yeah, yes, you could definitely do that. You could get there and just, just one finger all the way through. Gross. You think that's how tomatoes are supposed to be achievers. I'm here to tell you. No, no, you want them nice and firm. No, you want to see them enough. You know when they're perfect. You can grab a a knife knife, and you can slice it and it doesn't squish it. Yep. If it's squishing, it ain't bitching. I just made that up. I swear to God. Yeah. Genius coming out of this mind. Genius. Right. <laughs> Remember. <laughs> apply that to your life. <laughs> if it's squishing, it ain't bitching. Oh, that's going on a t-shirt. It's going right. on a t-shirt to everyone. It's a tomato that's... <laughs> oh. <laughs> Okay, all right. Yeah, we're clearly losing our minds. We don't have any video games to play. <laughs> so, I, like, I'm literally even because I see Fire Emblem Wars Three Hopes coming out. Yeah, I'm dating going back to play Three Houses because I you never finished it. You didn't finish it, Alex. You didn't finish it. What you need it. to do is like see if you can find some sort of recap. Okay. On like YouTube or something. Yeah. I know they have a in cap recap in game that you can read. Okay. You know, that's a lot of read. So maybe you yeah. can find like a story thing you can watch until you remember stuff and then you're like, turn yeah. Because yeah, I, I was know, really enjoying that game. It's a good game. Yeah. It's a good game. Slap it on easy and enjoy yourself. Just enjoy yeah. yourself. Have, oh, a, have, have a relationship. Sure. Have a relationship yeah. with some nice lady. Yep. I just, I mean, on that, I mean, what else, man? What else? I mean, I guess I'll go play. I'll try Diablo's Immortal. Nah, I'm not gonna do that. Probably, I might. I, I might once, but let's be honest. I'm not. I'm not. Let's I go just... replay Elden Ring on the PlayStation again. Yeah, you, I know you're desperate. 
You need those trophies. You're going to get that platinum. I know you will one day. One day you're going to get the platinum in Elden Ring. And then Look, one day you're going to buy it on Steam and get all the achievements on that. And you'll have the three row. Like, you'll have a, like, a, it's going to be a turkey. I almost did. <laughs> you almost did. You almost did. I have Dark Souls Remastered on all systems now. Oh, my God. I'm upset. Um. <laughs> um, I actually downloaded like four or five games for Platinum, so like I, I'm working on all of them. So I have Man Eater, I have the El- I have Elden Ring, and then I have uh, what was it? I'm sorry, I started Kingdom Hearts three with my wife, mm. so we could still work on the Platinum for that, and then just working on uh, some other stuff. All right, just I mean, just wh- why not? Hey, why not? I feel you. There's so much to play, and it really is like I won't blame anyone for playing anything. That's why I'm not really making fun of you for Stranger to Paradise. I yeah. jokingly do, but at the end of the day, I'm like, you got infinite time right now. We no, have yeah. really until August. We yeah. have stray July 17th. That's like a six hour game, probably. <laughs> so yeah. we're gonna blow through that. Yeah, like my wife and I actually just found out that the the two sets of mario kart 8 tracks had came out so we played those i didn't even know they had came out yep yep it's every month i think so two weeks i'm not sure something like or every that. Couple, i don't know but hey, like it was, they're fun yeah no and you get a bunch it's a cool mm-hmm. little deal too and it looks like nintendo's going to offer their dlc in the expansion pass so expansion, as long as you yeah. own that you'll have all their dlc maybe that's, who knows I don't that's know. cool I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Alex, hmm. That's the one thing we haven't heard of from a while. Nintendo, what are they doing over there? What are they doing? Are they making... Okay, Martin. <laughs> Breath of the Wild 2. Uh, wh- where is that? Well, are, you, are, you gonna, are you gonna... <laughs> yeah, that, I would love if the game's done and they're just like, what the fuck are we gonna name this? <laughs> like, like it's the game's done and we just can't name it. Alex, Alex, I've been called crazy for this. I've been called crazy for this. It's Breath of the Wild 2. Emmett Watkins Jr. looked me in the eye and said, I am crazy for saying what I'm about to say. Achievers, okay. you'll remember this. Is Breath of the Wild 2 going to launch on a brand new Switch? Oh, he's thinking hard. He's thinking hard, Achievers. He knows it's yes, but he's fighting it. He's fighting the yes. I, I, deep down, I, I, I want to say no. But I, I, we, but we know Nintendo so well that it's, it could, it's like, it's like, it's like 70, 30, 70 percent chance that it's probably going to happen. But that 30 percent chance is going fucking strong. Cause like I I I feel like they would just launch it like r- like like right before. So or my like argument right after. I don't know. I don't know if it'll be right together with it. So my argument is Breath of the Wild two either launches at the end of this year, which I don't believe for a fucking second it's going to. I mean, what the hell else do they got? Pokemon, it's, that's it, bro. It's Nintendo, man. They got that's money. True. They don't give a fuck about hitting a holiday. It's like PlayStation. Like, oh no. That's true, I guess. <laughs> oh, no. We were really betting on that. As long as they hit Q4, they'll be fine. Yeah. Um, now, their hardware release, would they have to mm. hit Q1 of next year or at the end of Q4 of next year is the good question. But how better to launch your system than how you launched one of your best-selling systems, the Switch, than doing the successor to the Switch in the exact same way and launching a Zelda <laughs> game on it? You know, I mean, like they did this before, almost in the exact same scenario. Because Breath of the Wild was delayed for a very long time, um, I believe internally. I don't know if it was externally. I know for a fact it was delayed for a while, um, and I think internally they admitted like they probably were like, "Look, we need this to be debuted on Switch." Look, it is wild because we knew about Breath of the Wild two in twenty nineteen. In twenty nineteen, yep, it was at Game Awards, I think. Yeah, it was, was twenty nineteen. It's it was been a, three uh, years. If you want to get even more, what the fuck? It go was look at and completely until last year at E3. Go look at when Bayonetta two was announced, and we still don't know what the fuck's going on with that game. Metroid Prime Four. Ha! Good luck, fuckers. 
Yeah, I, I, I mean, I, hmm. Like, now, what did Ed, Emmett say? He said there's no way it's going to go with the system? Yeah, he, he did not think, um... I think my argument was the system would come out with Breath of the Wild and it comes yeah. out next year. Mm-hmm. And they said, and I think he disagreed. We're going to have him on soon if he can make the show for the showcase achievers. So, you know, I'll pick his brain then to see. Because, uh, I, I, you know, I don't want to misrepresent him. So maybe, you know, but we'll have him on later. We'll, we'll get his full thoughts. Yeah. I, I'm, of course, this isn't me shitting on him. I'm just making fun of him. But. Do do I think it, it launches with the Switch? I think I think the chances are very high. Uh, it costs them nothing to hold a game. Um, sure, it it takes them longer to make their money, but this is Nintendo we're talking about. They're going to make that money whenever they launch it. So why better can, than to make them buy a system and have them incentivize buying a new system for it? It's it's supposed to be. I think I I, I, what, I think if I read it right, it said something about like. Breath of the Wild 2, like potentially spring 2023. And I mean, it would make sense if a system would come out then because that's when the Switch came out. They did the exact same thing they did. And we have, and we didn't, we're not getting a system this year. We got an OLED, we got the OLED last last year in 2021. And didn't if you we don't believe just, me, Achievers, yeah. if you don't believe me, I retweeted this gentleman. His name is Matt Piscatella. He's a very smart man. Go over to his Twitter. Check out his credentials. He said the exact same thing I said. Around the time, um, if you remember, Alex, do you remember the NVIDIA source coding leak? I mm-hmm. think is what it was called. Some sort of code for um, uh, NVIDIA came out, and there was just a code name uh, for, like, a switch on there. Okay. And I'm butchering this because this happened a while ago. But essentially, it hints at Nintendo needing technology. What would they need technology for? Nothing for their current systems. So it would be for a new thing that they're planning on making. Yeah. Therefore, it's a new thing that they're making right now. Or they're specking for, or they're hypothesizing. Or it's an R&D and we'll never see it. Who knows? I think, though, almost guaranteed that we're getting a new Switch next year. The real question is if Breath of the Wild 2 is going to launch on it or not. And I think it will. I, I can see it. Yeah, I think people um, and achievers, if you need more. I, and we've done this before. If you need more proof, go look at the 3DS. Yeah. And look how many were released. Don't believe me. Go look at what go look at their history. That will tell you more than I can ever tell you. Just to name a few, I think the 3DS came out in 2010. Yeah, no, there was one like every, what was it, every year or two? I think it was every it was, year, almost. Yeah, and it was like a different model, yeah. So, there you go. It's And they still sold strong. Yeah, the 3DS was, you know, the 3DS, but people love that thing. Mm-hmm. I love the games that came on it, and I will not elaborate. Remember the 2DS? That $80, like, brick thing? You, yeah, I had one. Yeah, a lot of kids bought that. I was uh, that was so cool because um, like a lot, like a, like like, kid, like parents were able to justify like, all right, I'll buy that because if you yeah. break that, it's not big of a deal. Mm-hmm. Alex, hmm. that's the show for the week. That's all I have for you today. Thank you so much, as always, for joining me. This was a great show. I had a fun time breaking down the state of play. Remember, we're going to have a prediction show very soon about the showcase. Just light predictions. Um, we're going to kind of have everything about the studios kind of on a platter. We're going to kind of mm-hmm. see what we can pull out of our asses to see if we can kind of get a good prediction set. And remember, there, June Alex 12th. I believe is the Xbox with as a showcase. June 12th. We yeah. will have a full breakdown after the fact. We're still in talks. If we're going to live react to it. Maybe not. Maybe we will. Who knows? Maybe we'll do a Twitch thing. We'll figure it out, but expect a full breakdown immediately after as well as the regular show. Of course, after that as well. Alex, do you have anything you want to leave the audience with for this week? The achievers before they go to their enjoy their weekend. Go find some games to play. 
There's go something find, out there. It's a way. It's a wasteland. Go find. Go look. Go look. It's gonna be so hard. There's so few games. Oh no. Mm-hmm. So few games. As I look at my hard drive containing 300 games, I, I, think I'm, I think I'm gonna go play Dragon Age Origins. I think that's what I'm gonna go right. do. I, mean, I think okay. that's how I'm gonna spend my night. I'm gonna try and for the millionth time, I'm gonna romance Morgan yet again and not change any of my choices in this choice-based game. Do everything the exact same, and because that's how I live my life. All right. Thank you so much for joining us. This is the Easy Chavis Gaming Podcast. We come to you every single Friday to give you the news. We thank you so much for joining us. Like, comment, subscribe, share with a friend. This is one of our longest episodes ever. Right? Yet again, we are on a roll, Alex, of long episodes. And I have a feeling our longest episode may be that Bethesda Showcase. We'll find out. Oh, probably. Remember, go Chief. Go Chief.